I'm Li Weitai. I'm a professor at the Peacock Institute for Learning and Memory at MIT. And my laboratory studies the mechanisms underlying neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. In this context, we became aware that elevated damage to the DNA of neurons is a highly prevalent characteristic in the brains undergoing neurodegeneration. A major source of DNA damage is the byproduct of normal cellular metabolism. The brain is thought to metabolize as much as 20% of consumed oxygen, and the reactive oxygen species that are generated during this process can introduce thousands of DNA lesions per cell each day and making neurons especially vulnerable to these insults. In addition to oxidative damage, neurons are susceptible to DNA damage that is caused by malfunctioning proteins on the DNA, such as topoisomerase, and by drugs such as chemotherapeutic drugs that penetrate in brains, and by ionizing radiation. Most recently, physiological neuronal activity itself was shown to induce DNA damage, and this suggests that neurons likely encounter damage much more frequently than we imagined. Neurons are post-mitotic cells. They form early during development, and once they're born, they're seldom replaced. These features confer neurons with some unique properties when it comes to dealing with DNA damage. For example, because they don't divide, neurons might be more resistant to some of the catastrophic consequences that dividing cells face when they attempt to apportion their DNA between the two daughter cells. More importantly, just because neurons do not die under these conditions doesn't mean that they are also resistant to the deleterious effects of DNA damage. DNA is, after all, the blueprint for the synthesis of many different species of RNA and proteins. And many studies, including those in the aging brain, have shown that accumulation of damage interferes with the production of those proteins, crucial for learning, memory, and synaptic transmission. A major theme that is emphasized in the review is that the consequences of DNA damage are different for different stages in the life of a neuron. So for example, during neuronal development, when neural progenitors produce neurons, there is a strong bias towards apoptotic depth for neurons that have elevated levels of DNA damage. And this is thought to be a strategy to prevent neurons that have elevated levels of DNA damage from being incorporated into the circuitry of the nascent nerve system. On the other hand, mature neurons are less prone to apoptosis, and instead the gradual accumulation of DNA damage might lead to a deterioration of neural functions with age. Which lesions are specifically relevant to a particular neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's disease or ALS? This is something that is still remain unresolved. Similarly, does DNA damage accumulate stochastically in the nervous system as a function of age? Or does it preferentially occur in certain hot spots that might compromise neural function. It is important to realize that research in this direction is still in its infancy and there is a lot more to be learned.